what is good family it's your girl back again with another freaking video for y'all you already know how it goes subscribe duh like duh comment give your feedback tell a friend to 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 tell a friend the telephone, the telephone. Mm. All right, let me stop. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see in the title, we are going to be talking about dating in your early freaking 20s, y'all. Dating in your early 20s. For all my young, early 20 year olds, young adults out here, y'all know what it's like. It's a struggle. <laughs> But anyways, so we're going to get it on and popping. We're going to talk about this. We're going to have a discussion about this. And, you know, I'm going to give some of my opinions, some of my thoughts, and, uh, you know, maybe some of my experiences with dating in early 20s. Um, if you don't already know, I am 23 years old. Sometimes I get called younger than what I am. And, you know, other times I get called, I look exactly 23 so i guess it just depends on the day it depends on what i have on um but yeah i'm 23 years old and so yeah young adulthood as they would say <laughs> yeah dating in your 20s so mm, dating in your early 20s i have a lot of this stuff written down because like i said i forget a lot of stuff so I'm going to kind of stick to the script a little bit, okay, so that I don't miss anything. I don't want y'all to miss out on anything I have to say about this, right? So, dating in your early 20s is like, for real, like, I be sitting there, we all just be sitting there like, okay, um, are we doing this or not, bro? Like, sis, whatever, like, are we doing this because... I want you, you know that, you want me, you know that, but it's like, why are you not trying to commit? Like, are we doing this or not? Like, I really got things to do. I got things to do. Okay. So you need to figure this out. Figure out if you want me or not. Because I, I got I got people, I got a line of people waiting at the door. You feel me? Like the next person can step up to the plate and you know, shoot a shot. But you you wasting my time, so you need to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like that's dating in your early twenties. It's like ain't no more time for the little games no more. Ain't no time for the little teenage love. Like, oh yeah, we we don't know what we're doing, but we love each other and it doesn't matter if we have a title or not. And no, 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 no. We young adults now. We got things to do. We got school. We got work. We got college. We got, some people got kids. Like, we just got too much to do for you to be playing games. So we all just sitting there like, okay, do you want this or not? Because look, the clock is ticking. So-and-so said they ready to talk to me so uh you know you need to are you good are you good okay well i'm gonna go i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna head out all right i'm gonna head out you know that's that's dating in your early 20s you know what i'm saying y'all know what i'm talking about don't play with me don't try to play games with me <laughs> that's dating in your early 20s but it's like literally you could be talking to somebody like you could meet somebody whether it's online whether it's in person you know you start feeling them they start feeling you you know what i'm saying and then next thing you know you know once feelings get involved or you know things like that you know you start asking or they might start asking you or you might be the one not knowing what to do and you ask them you're like hey look um are we are we gonna be a thing like are we gonna make this official and then they're just like well, you see, like, we can still do everything that people in relationships do, but without a title. And then on top of that, you know what? Don't talk to nobody else because even though we're not in a relationship, we're still, you're still mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still own you and you can't talk to nobody else, but I can still talk to who I want to talk to. But, if it's, you know, it's just like, nah, like, we can't be, you know, it's still not a title. But we can still do everything that people in relationships do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just we're in a situation ship or an entanglement or, you know, whatever these new words that these new kids like everybody in my generation is coming out with. Like we're just in a situation ship entanglement, a confusion, 
Like, that's what we do in, in, in our early 20s. We just, we're just in that type of stuff. So, yeah, that's, that's dating in your early 20s. Sums up the video. All right, I'm going to head out. Peace. <laughs> like, for real, right? Like, that's literally how it feels when you start talking to people in your early 20s. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really rough out here for some people. Um, some people, you know, maybe it's not that bad, you know what I'm saying? That's just some of the things that we experienced in our early 20s. And I guess some people would say it comes with the territory, but I would agree to disagree on that one. No. I wanted to talk about also as well, not only just the things that come with dating in your early 20s, but I also want to say that, you know, being in our early 20s, it is a... Uh, a time where we're all still trying to find ourselves we're all still trying to figure out who we are where we want to go in life we're trying to build something for ourselves like we're not super all the way together yet and it's still like that time of you, us still having like that teenage mentality plus also the adult mentality plus also all of these other mentalities are piled up, I think, in your teenage, I mean, in your uh, young adult years, early 20 years. And then you have all different types of friends. Like being in your early 20s is a weird time because you have all different types of friends in your early 20s. In your early 20s, you're just surrounded by so many different types of people. And then you always have a different type of group of people. Like nobody's literally stable. It's not like in your 30s where everybody's pretty much, I guess, settled down and has their career and graduated college and all that. It's just everybody's everywhere in your early 20s so i think that's another thing that kind of makes it a little difficult like it's still that building ground like i said and you know sometimes it can get kind of hard for people to make decisions and for us to really just be focused sometimes but you know there's no hope is not lost there is still hope for us trust me even in your our early 20s there's still hope so don't give up okay but that's one of the things I wanted to say. And I wanted to say some of the like the good things and the bad things about like dating in your early 20s. You feel me? Like I think being in your early 20s and dating is like some of the I would say one of the cons about it is the fact that, yeah, it's hard to date in your early 20s. Just because, like I said, I think everybody's still trying to figure things out and working towards building something and just being all over the place all the time. It makes it hard to be in a stable relationship with someone sometimes. And I think that's one of the cons about dating in your early 20s. Nobody's really stable enough to even make decisions. And mentally, you know, it's just sometimes not there. So I would say that. But then also, I would say one of the pros about dating in your early 20s is that being in my generation, like the millennial generation Z or whatever it's called, generation X, whichever one is supposed to be the one that's closest to millennials. Being in my generation, I love the fact that we're so freaking open we're so open, bro. Like we don't stick to like society norms and social like constructs and what's what gender norms and all that stuff. Like we don't stick to the script. You know what I'm saying? Like we question why things are the way they are. Like we don't just conform to what we're told. Like we question things. We step outside the box. We want to be different. We want to explore our sexuality. We want to explore different types of people. We want to date outside our culture. Like we're open as hell. And that's what I appreciate about being in my generation is that we always have different people we like to date, different people we like to talk to. And that's what makes it fun. That's what makes life exciting. Like it's boring. Like if you just uh, I'm just gonna talk to Johnny. I'm just gonna talk to Susan. Like, that's boring as hell. Like, talk to whatever. Talk to whoever. Talk to black, white, Asian, girl, boys. Whoever you want to talk to, talk to them. And that's what we're about. Like, we stand up for what we believe in. We talk to who we want to talk to. We live life for, to the fullest. We don't stop. We keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we in this thing. And we don't stick to the script. Like, older generations and people, you know older you know they just stick to the script and just live by the book nobody wants to live by the freaking book we just want to be happy and we just want to enjoy life and figure it out and have fun and be open and that's what life is all about that's what i love about dating in my generation so shout out to my generation y'all pop y'all pop and if y'all want somebody to really speak up for y'all you know what i'm saying hey your girl is here i'll be with you because you know you know me i'm already i'm a vibe but you know I'll, I'll express myself i'll put it out there to the open and i don't stick to the script i like to be different so <laughs> i'm 
I'm weird as hell, bro. But yeah, so that's a con and a pro I like about being in our early 20s. So, you know, take it how you want. Maybe comment, leave a comment about it. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? But, you know, to end out this video, uh, I know this was a different kind of video, which I liked. Being in your early 20s, dating in your early 20s. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I wanted to leave you guys with three tips, three freaking tips on dating in your early 20s that could probably help you in finding the love of your life or just find some good dates. You know what I'm saying? This is something that has helped me and I want to help you in dating in your early 20s. Three tips I'm going to leave you with. So the first one that I will say to you is to have fun, my dog. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Don't take life too seriously. Don't take these people out here too seriously. Because, girl, boy, like, they don't have these people. Don't, and they, ain't, they don't care about you. They ain't worried about you. I'm telling you. You already know this. They ain't worried about you. They ain't. So you might as well just have fun. Have a little sip. Have a little outing. Be a kid again. Go out to the fair. Go to the amusement park. Go to the arcade. You know, do something different. Like, do something that you used to do when you were a kid that you lost touch with, that you lost sight with. You know what I'm saying? Just have fun with people. Just get to know people. Just get to experience different from all, experience different people from all different races, cultures, genders, and just be and just live and stop worrying about what everybody else has to say about it. Just do you, boo-boo. So, yeah, that's the number one thing I would say is to have fun. The second thing that I will say is... Believe, I had to look at my paper, believe you are worthy of love, to be loved and to love. Believe that you are worthy to be loved and to love. That is the second thing I would give you. You are worthy to love and you are worthy to be loved. My, my dog, I'm about to say my boy, my girl, whatever. You are worthy. Don't let anybody tell you you're not because you are. No matter who you are, you can love and be loved. Trust and believe me. As long as you believe, you shall achieve. Wow, I'm so lame. Oh, well. But yeah, so as long as you believe, you'll be all right. Trust and believe me, okay? And the last thing, the third thing, the third thing I will say is, I gotta look at my paper because I forgot, is... Be open to different people and new experiences. Be open, guys. Be open to new people and new experiences. Like I keep saying in this video, life is too short to be worried about what Janny or Billy or Jaquan or your parents or your best friends or society has to say. You just got to be open to new people and new experiences. You never know who you can find or what you can find if you just open yourself up and stop living in a box and stop living in a bubble and stop living in the same little communities or little mindsets that you grew up in. Like sometimes you got to step outside of that. Sometimes you got to see the rainbow. Sometimes you got to see the stars. Sometimes you just got to be different. Why do you want to be the same? Why do you want to be like everybody else? That's boring. Everybody else does the same thing. They're boring. Be different. Be open. Be open to new experiences. Be open to new people because you never know what you can find if you just step outside your comfort zone and do something different with yourself and with your life. So with that being said, I hope this video helped you out. I hope this video really did have some type of correlation or relation to you. If you can relate, let me know. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Just let me know. Did you? I know you related to this video. I know you did. If you're in your early 20s, 21, 22, 23, 24, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, 25, y'all know. Y'all know how it is being in your early 20s. This stuff is a struggle, but at the same time, there's a lot of fun that comes out of it. So, don't lose hope, my friend. You already know your girl will be back with more videos. Peace. Stay motivated. Stay inspired, dog. <laughs> I'm so childish. I could die. What is wrong with me, bro? Like, I got problems. All right, peace.